Tucker. Hi, Megan. How are you? I'm doing well. So in that ad, uh, they, they have some quotes of some people who are known to be pretty far left journalists, like the Times' yeah. Joe Klein. Uh, but, <laughs> but, as you know, over the weekend, Car even Karl Rove uh, came out and said, uh, I want to get it right, that McCain has gone too far in some of his ads. Do you deny it? Well, actually, Carl Rove said that both campaigns had maybe gone a step too far. Right, but I want to talk about McCain with you, and we'll have Obama's guy, and later we'll talk about Obama with him. With you, I, mm -hmm. want, I want to hold you accountable for what McCain is doing and get you mm -hmm. to weigh in on this. Has your candidate gone too far? Has he stretched the truth with the, with, uh, the voters? Well, Megan, what we have done is gone to great lengths to discuss Barack Obama's record. And I think what you're seeing in this ad today is that he would sooner hurl insults than examine his record. I mean, it is true that during a struggling economy, he proposes raising taxes. Not on, on the middle class. That will, that on, on job growth and, and, and small businesses that drive the job growth of this country. But he you wants guys to have raise suggested that he's going to raise taxes. taxes on the middle class, and, and virtually every independent analyst who took a look at that claim said that's not true. He'll raise it on people making more than 200 or 250,000, but not the middle class. Well, Megan, you're giving him an enormous amount of credit for a guy that has voted only to raise taxes in, in the United States Senate for now for him to make a new claim. Now, keep in mind no, no, that during no, the Democratic primary, he ran I'm not on tax credit. I'm saying what the no independent class. analysts say. They say that mm -hmm. that claim is, is false. And if that's false, mm -hmm. why would John McCain do that, Tucker? Why wouldn't he just level with the voters and say, look, he's going to raise taxes on the wealthy or whatever you consider somebody to be making more than 250000 It's going to have a trickle-down effect that may not be good up for the middle class. But why say he's going to raise taxes on the middle class when he's not? Well, because his record says that he will. If we're going to take Barack Obama at his word for everything that he says he will do, the oceans will part, they will cease, the, heal, the, the sick will become healed. There are all sorts of things that Barack Obama is claiming on this campaign. But when you look at his record, he has voted to increase taxes. He has voted in support of higher taxes for people making as little as $42,000 a year. I think that you and I can both agree that those are people that are entrenched in the middle class in this country. Tucker, I think why if you did look at claim... his record 94 times in three years, he's voted in support of higher taxes. Why are we to take him on his word that he would that he would cut any tax. Why? He has no record of doing it. Why, That's why our did, job as a campaign is to McCain, provide real context for what Why did John McCain suggest in an ad that Barack Obama supported comprehensive sex ed for kindergartners? Uh, you'll notice that the Obama campaign has never refuted that they, that they cast that vote. They voted for that in Barack Obama's committee. His committee in the state Senate that he chaired voted to pass that legislation. If you examine the language in the bill, I looked at the I language in the bill. Have a Clinton, I know that you're going to have an Obama person on later. I hope that you will ask them if there was language in the bill that actually talked about sexual education for kindergarten. I looked at the, the, the language in the bill talks about age appropriate sex ed, including mm -hmm. education about child predators and inappropriate touching. What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. And sexually transmitted diseases. Maybe. Right. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want a kindergartner to be educated somewhat about inappropriate about sexual sexually touching transmitted from adults? diseases? No. N no. About about well, a that's child in the bill. predator that's the language coming in the bill. That, I mean, that and, is the bill that we're talking assault. about reading, right? Let me just ask the question, then you can mm -hmm. then you can jump on it. Well, that you, makes you know, sense. His campaign says that's not a, that's not fair because what he was be, was backing was trying to educate little kindergartners on how to avoid ch sexual predators, and that you're distorting the language of the bill. Your response. Uh, we didn't distort the language of the bill. We told, we told voters that he voted in favor of this education. That is a reform that's on his record. If we can't talk about the votes that he's actually taken, if we can't talk about the fact that he's supported higher taxes, proposed more taxes in a down economy, when Americans are struggling and we're seeing terrible economic news, what can we talk about, Megan? This is an important debate. Let's talk about the facts. No more of the dishonest, sleaze accusations, because what he's trying to do is divert attention away from the fact that he has no proven record of making reforms. And when voters go to the ballot in November, they're going to pull the lever for someone that's proven, someone that has a record of reform. Somebody has a record of bipartisanship. Okay. That is John McCain, not Barack Obama. All right, Tucker, we're going to put uh, Bill Burton, your counterpart for the Obama campaign, through the same thing in a, in a short time here in America's News.